Wasn't really planning to make this video given the fact that I was out of town whenever the updates were actually dropping, but people are still asking for our top 10 guns in Season 7 of COD Mobile. So I'm here to give you guys my breakdown on what the current top 10 guns are in the game. Done my best to check out all the buffs and nerfs and give you guys a pretty well-rounded view of it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Drop a like if you do and we'll hop in the action. Coming in at number 10, we've got a gun that I think a lot of people probably expected to be a little bit higher up on the list. But for me, there's a couple things that hold it back and that's going to be the Razorback. Obviously, this gun is way better than it was previously due to a big time damage buff. Up close, it can fairly consistently three tap. The one stipulation to that is the fact that the lower body multipliers are very punishing, especially with a 0.9 to the legs. You got to make sure you're landing the upper body shots because even with the rapid fire perk, the rate of fire on this is not incredibly fast. Surprisingly enough, even as an SMG with an additional perk on top of it to make its rate of fire faster, it's still not faster than the Holger, which means if you're not getting those three shot kills, it is going to be very, very difficult to win gunfights. There's also not a lot of ways to build the gun out to have good bullet spread accuracy, which means it's going to be tougher to use the mid to long range as well. And overall, the average time to kill is just going to be incredibly punishing for those missed shots. So it's a high skill gap weapon, but once you master it, it can definitely keep up with the best of the best. Coming in at number nine is by far the easiest gun to use on this list. The Holger with 100 rounds of ammo and crazy strafe speed when you use the no stock attachment is a gun that seems like it will probably forever stay inside the top 10. There's a couple reasons I don't have this gun any higher. Number one, the base version is not good when it comes to the iron sights, which means the majority of the time you will need to use a red dot for one of your attachment slots. Number two, it doesn't have very good bullet spread accuracy or many options to improve it, and especially because the no stock is a must use attachment, it will struggle a little bit more in those ranged gunfights. And number three, it doesn't really have great multipliers on anything besides the head, which means it's very difficult to decrease the time to kill by landing upper body shots. So it's definitely more of a spray and pray type of weapon than something that you're going to bank on giving you an advantage when you're able to be more accurate with those upper body shots. But that being said, if you ever feel like flipping your brain off and just hopping into a rank game, the Holger is absolutely the gun to use. Coming in at number eight, we have a gun that with continual buffs, especially to the magazine of the large caliber ammo has made its way inside the top 10. The HVK has really started to shine out in competitive play. And even though it might not be the easiest option to use, I would say, especially when it comes to search and destroy, this is far away the best option for an assault rifle. Obviously, the upper body and headshot multipliers are the big upside of the HVK with the large cal, which allow it to achieve ridiculous time to kill, including the ability to two shot to the head. Well, obviously, that's not something you can really consistently bank on. The three and four shot time to kills for the HVK are not bad at all. And now that the large cal magazine can hold more than 30 bullets, it's able to function a little bit more like a normal assault rifle. Obviously, you will struggle to take more than one gunfight at once, but the iron sights on the HVK are not the worst for the base version. And it's got some solid attachment options that let you build it out a few different ways as well. Coming in at number seven, we've got a gun that a lot of you might be surprised is not higher on the list, especially given its level of dominance in the world championships. While the Fennec is a phenomenal gun, it might not be the best option for a lot of ranked warriors for a number of different reasons. First off, the reason that it was used so much in the world championships is because in the esports version of the game, you automatically unlock every skin in the game, which means everyone has access to the mythic version. Unfortunately, the base iron sights on the Fennec are not very clear, so it's going to be tougher to use, and more often than not will require an additional attachment for maximum accuracy. And on top of that, the Fennec is one of the higher recoil weapons on this list as well, which obviously for players who are not quite as experienced at the game can be very, very difficult to compensate for. Yes, you can build around recoil control and accuracy, but then you lose out in a lot of range and mobility, so it can be difficult to balance. However, if you got the mythic version of this sucker or one of the other few pay to win iron sights, definitely give it a try. Coming in at number six, we have a ridiculously strong LMG that in the hands of good aimers can potentially make its way up to number one. The UL 736 when built out for maximum range has the potential to three tap all the way out to 40 meters. In fact, the three tap time to kill when you're not missing any shots on the UL is actually faster than the four shot time to kill of any of the SMGs on this list outside the Fennec. Obviously, the one thing holding the UL back from being further up on this list is you do need to be consistently landing those upper body shots in order to achieve that consistent time to kill. With that being said, the gun's four shot time to kill is still fairly comparable to that of the LK24. It has a solid base iron sight, and due to the recent buff for LMGs, it now does more hit flinch than other weapons as well. If you watched stage four, you likely saw quite a few people using this, and if you've played in the upper levels of skill-based matchmaking, it's probably been a nightmare for you as well. Coming in at number five, we've got the SKS, which at this point, it seems like may never make its way out of the top five. I think it's been here for somewhere around two years at this point with no real nerf in sight. The SKS is the undisputed best 
long range weapon in the game. So much so that it has been banned for competitive for the entire year of 2023. And the only reason that it's not higher is because it is a little bit more difficult to use than some of the other options on the list. Due to the fact that the SKS is a tap fire weapon, you have to be extra accurate and it's also nearly impossible to use if you're a thumbs player, at least to use it effectively. But that being said, you can one tap to the head from anywhere on the map and the two tap potential is ridiculous as well. The SKS is the perfect weapon for a passive play style and with a solid base iron sight, you don't necessarily need to purchase an upgraded skin either. And number four, we've got the Kilo 141. With the buff this gun got a few seasons ago, it does have a slightly increased chance of three shotting compared to what it had previously. But with that being said, it's not quite as consistent as the LK24 and doesn't have the same range capabilities either. So even though it has a fast rate of fire, there's a couple things that hold it back from being a true AR. On top of that, it's not nearly as good unless you have the mythic version of the weapon. There's not really any battle pass skins that make for a great substitute for the base iron sight. But even with a red dot, this thing can absolutely still shred and works for a little bit more of a flex assault rifle than some of the other slower firing options like the LK. Definitely a great option whether you're playing ranked or competitive. Do not sleep on this one. Coming in at number three, the number one AR in Call of Duty Mobile. Nobody that watched Stage 4 of the World Championships is going to be surprised to see this one, the LK24. Despite what I expected after the Kilo buff has remained the number one option for AR players in COD Mobile. In regards to true long range accuracy and ability, no question the LK24 does surpass the Kilo in the fact that it has more ability to stack on range and also easier three tap potential. Obviously, the bullet spread accuracy on the LK24 is a big time upside and really one of the only downsides is the fact that the iron sights are not great. If you got the battle pass skin for the Amethyst Serpent, definitely something that is worth looking into is I think it is a plenty sufficient substitute and gives you some more options to use other attachments. But with the potential to extend your initial damage phase all the way out to 40 meters, it's very difficult to pass up on the LK24. Coming in at number two and further solidifying the SMG meta that we're in, the Switchblade X9 edges out a lot of very close options like the Fennec and the QQ9 for a number of reasons. Number one, it's very consistent. Four tap means it kills lightning fast up close. Number two, the recoil is not very difficult to control. Three, it has great movement and hip fire, which means at point blank, you're also going to be able to dominate. And number four, it's a great free to play option, unlike the Fennec, as most pro players actually opt to use the base iron sights rather than using the mythic version. Naturally, as an SMG, the one downside to the Switchblade is it's not great in long range, and especially in regards to bullet spread accuracy, is not going to be a solid option past mid range. But realistically, that shouldn't be an issue, as most SMG players are going to find ways to play up close, and that's really where the Switchblade does thrive. And at the number one spot, obviously, no surprise, the CBR, which has not gotten a nerf since Lord knows how long, is still at the top. Now, one thing I will say is the CBR is not a dominant number one weapon. There are a lot of other weapons that are better at specific things than the CBR. It's not the best up close gun. It's not the best long range gun, but it's obviously the most versatile weapon in the game in the fact that it can do both on top of the fact that it also has 50 base bullets to work with. The base version also has phenomenal iron sights, which means if you're a free to play player, you don't really have to worry about being at a disadvantage. Great strafe speed, great time to kill, great movement, and lots of options to imprint bullet spread accuracy mean that there's not really any way that you can't build this weapon out. Eventually, we may reach a point where other guns start to get buffed to the point where they surpass the CBR, but that point has not yet arrived, so this will continue to be the number one option for a lot of players in COD Mobile. And that wraps up our top 10 guns in Season 7 of COD Mobile. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, drop a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next one.